we're living in the season between ascension and the coming of the Spirit to the early church on the day of Pentecost, ten days later. And the poignant line uh, in Acts of the Apostles where the account of Jesus ascending is uh, the angel saying to the disciples, why do you stand looking up into heaven? With the implication that we really ought to be concerned with living out our Christian faith on the earth. And this season of ascension is a time where the disciples were living with loss. They had lost their constant companion of the previous three years. And I guess in the uncertain times that they faced, they were wondering how they were going to cope. But Jesus gave them a promise. One of his last promises in Matthew 28 was, And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. And maybe that will bring us some comfort. And living with loss anyway is a season which is there for Many of us, many of us will have lost loved ones in, and the memorial of those loved ones being lost is during this season. And so I'm looking at 2 Corinthians chapter 1 where Paul talks about loss or actually trouble, thlipsis, trouble, afflictions. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the Father of all compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles or afflictions, so that we can comfort those in any affliction or trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. I haven't been afflicted in quite the way that some have. Um, my parents have both died, but that's the closest I've come to that sort of affliction. And I'm not living in a war zone, so I'm not afflicted in that way. And uh, I'm, I'm not dreadfully ill, at least as not as far as I'm aware. So I'm not being afflicted in that way. But maybe for many of us, we're living with afflictions or loss. And we need to ask God for the comfort which he is disposed to give us. And if we do ask for that comfort, maybe we can comfort others as well during this these testing times. Interestingly enough, the word for comfort in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 is the word from which we get the word paraclete. It's paraclesis or paracalio is, is, the, is the word for comfort and it means one who is called alongside, especially called alongside to help. Jesus said, I will send you another comforter, Paraclis, para, Parakletos, to be with you forever, even the Spirit of Truth. And um, I believe that the Holy Spirit can come and give us comfort when we call upon him to do so. So let's pray for those who are struggling today because of loss or afflictions. O oh Lord, because it says in the Bible that you are the God of all compassion and comfort, we pray that you will deal graciously today with those who mourn. 
that casting all their cares upon you, they may know the consolation of your love. And Lord, all of us need the coming alongside of your presence with us. And so we pray that you would draw near to us, Lord, and help us to draw near to you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.